Hi. <laughs> I'm so short. Hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if you can hear cicadas in the background. It is currently summer here in New Zealand. It is hot. I'd like to have at least one door open while I film, especially because I just finished making candles. So, otherwise I'd die. <laughs> Today I am filming my shelf tour. I asked on Instagram um, recently if you would like to see it and I got an overwhelming votes for yes. At least when I checked, they're all yeses. I don't want to go back and check now because if there was a no, I'll be sad. Um, people said yes and I even got people messaging me for once saying, please, would like to see it. So, um, I thought I would film it. I don't know how many books I own. I don't want to know. Not that many. I think a lot of people have more than me. Because uh, a lot of people have like four just ceiling sort of shelves in like the same length. But um, I recently culled 80 books off my collection, which you'll be able to see in an unhaul that I'm pretty sure I already posted by the time this goes up. Um, if not, then it'll be up soon. And um, I also just don't tend to buy a lot of books. Well, I do. <laughs> but I'm very good at getting rid of the ones I don't enjoy. So, um, and during my unhaul, I recently just kept all the ones I really loved or had some special meaning to me that I don't want to get rid of or I own part of the series and I don't want to get rid of it yet. There's a few in there. Um, so yeah, that's my shelves and we're going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to do it because that's my dining table and that's my sofa. And obviously there's a section in the middle, but you just might see me standing on things. So it's a dangerous shelf tour. Hi, I'm on a chair. Um... I'm going to try to go alphabetical wise. So my shelves are ordered in alphabetical order now. Before they weren't ordered in any way whatsoever. Um, but now they're just kind of done like A, B, C. They aren't in like, I don't have Claire before Collins, well I should probably do. No I don't. So I don't have it in like specific alphabetical order, it's just like the A's are all grouped together. So over here I have my A's. I only have four books starting with the A. I have Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Atzevedo. Leo on the Alphabet. And Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertelli. And then Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. I have booked two of this but I haven't read it yet. So that's why it's there. And then moving into the Bs. I have the entire Shadow and Bone trilogy by Lee Bardugo. Which is Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm and Rune and Rising. These are all in paperback. And I have A Man Called Uwe by Frederick Backman. Which is one of my favourite books of all time. It made me cry. I don't cry often in books. But this one I bawled at. Next to those I have my first books that start going normally at the end because this is just like a free end and I don't have book things, bookends, that's what they call. Um, I have the book stack like that but then I start going to normal books. So I have The Lives of Saints by Lee Bardugo. This is part of the Grishaverse. I have a Kaz Breaker Candle and a little Cyndaquil. I have two paperback copies of Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. These next few books are all by her. I'm not going to take it out but I have Language of Thorns. By Lee Bardugo, this is also part of the Grishaverse. And then I have a hard copy of Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I have left some space in here, as you can probably tell, for um, Rule of Rule of Wolves, is that the name of it? Uh, the next book in the King of Scars. Is it a duology? I think it's just a duology. I'll do space. Um, but then I also have the Diviners series by Le Bray. I've only got the first three books because book four, The King of Crows, is only in the tall edition, so I don't want to get it yet. I have The Diviners, Lair of Dreams, and Before the Devil Breaks You. I don't like a lot of historical fiction, but I love this series. So if you want to read something that doesn't feel like historical fiction, I totally recommend this. It's also very creepy. And before we get to the end there, I have Worms by Orson Scott Card. This is actually my mum's book. I probably should return it to her because um, I'm trying to get rid of the majority of problematic authors. Except for obviously I have Harry Potter, so. Um, but that, I really like this book. I have two books by Katie Katoog, no, sorry for knocking the table. I have nine, 99 Days and Nine Days and Nine Nights. I love these books. I could not get enough of them. And then right on the edge, you can see, I will show you a bit of thing of it. Um, I have Ready Player One, which is my favourite book of all time. And my pride and joy right now, I have a signed copy of Ready Player Two by Ernest Klein. Um, I won this in a giveaway, so... Go me, <laughs> the book just fell. I have two little um, Harry Potter pot vinyls. They're the Fred and George ones. I have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Ark of Lewis and Louise by Julie Cohen. I won this at a book club. Tyler Johnson Was Here by Jay Coles. I have the entire Hunger Games trilogy, which is Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. I'm so sorry, I'm so short. 
I'm not actually that short, but this really shows you how tall my shelves are. I have the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which I actually enjoyed. I have a whole lot of Cassandra Clare books. I'm not going to pull them out. I have a Julia Santos candle from um, Caravelle. I have Clockwork Prince, Angel and Princess. Those are the wrong way around. My Clockwork Princess is the Collector's First Edition, which I think a lot of people got. I have Chain of Gold, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls and City of Heavenly Fire. You know. I also have Ghost of the Shadow Market, uh, Lady of Midnight, Lord of Shadows and Queen of Air and Darkness. This is a chunky book. I also have All the Light We Cannot See, which is one historical fiction I do enjoy. Uh, my only John Green books remaining, I kept Looking for Alaska, The Fault in Our Stars, and Turtles All the Way Down. And then Byron and I also own one book by his brother, which is an absolutely remarkable thing. Byron is currently reading the sequel to this, but it will live on the TBR shelf until I read it. My last part of my top shelf, uh, we're moving into the G's and the K's. Um, hidden behind me in this last section, I couldn't manage to fit into frame, I have the paperback editions of Caravelle. This is not the only set of Caravelle I own. It's Caravelle, Legendary and Finale. These are all paperback, the UK ones. I have the Two All The Boys I Loved Before series by Jenny Hun, which includes Two All The Boys I Loved Before. P.S. I Still Love You, which I'd like to get in hardback one day. And Always and Forever, Laura Jean. I absolutely love the series as well. I have Vengeance Blooms by Chloe Hodge. She is a... Australian indie author who I follow on Instagram. The Radleys by Matt Haig. This is a vampire book. I have two Colleen Hoover books that includes It Ends With Us and Ugly Love. I really liked It Ends With Us. Ugly Love was alright. Um, I don't know if I should keep it but I am just for the sake of keeping it. These are two books that I might unhaul once I read the other books. I have The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer and The Evolution of Mara Dyer. Um, I loved these series when they first came out but I don't think it's that great anymore. So I'd like to read the Noah Shaw books and then decide to get rid of them all. This was my Christmas present for my brother and it is Dune by Frank Herbert. I recently listened to the audiobook in anticipation for the movie. This cover is amazing. I love all the covers. Well, there's a few ugly ones, but I like this cover, so. I have Force of Nature by Jane Harper. This is the sequel to The Dry. I don't own The Dry, but I recently read this one in a vlog, so you can check it out. The Secret History of Us by Jesse Kirby. I don't actually remember what it was about, but I remember enjoying it, so I might reread it at some point. I have the entire Nevernight trilogy by Jay Christopher, including Nevernight, God's Grave, and Dark Dawn. I just bought Dark Dawn the other day. Finally, I was able to pick my hands on it. Um, I wanted them to all be the same height, so that's why it took me so long. Oh, this is going to be hard. I might leave these ones in here. I have the entire Illuminate trilogy by Jay Christoph and Amy Kaufman. That is Illuminate, Gemini, and Obsidio. I'm going to reread these this year, thankfully. And I also have Memento. I have Memento because I bought Aurora Rising pre-order from the States. It was so expensive, but I really wanted this. I don't do that that often, but I was so excited. Um, that also means I own Aurora Rising and Aurora Burning by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I didn't love Aurora Rising as much as I thought I would, but I did actually quite enjoy it. And I ended up buying this in hardback because I wanted the two books to match. Isn't that just a life story of a reader? I have The Other Side of the Sky by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. I have the Starbound Trilogy by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, including These Broken Stars. This Shattered World and Their Fractured Light. I really enjoyed these books. I totally recommend them for anyone who's trying to get into sci-fi. I just think Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner write really good sci-fi series, including The Undying and Unearthed. These weren't as good as this series, but they're just like, they're both great. You'll notice the book is missing because I dropped it. Warcross by Marie Lou. I really want to get, uh, what's the other one? The sequel to this. Can't remember the name of it. Wildcard. I really like this. this is also sci-fi. If you're trying to get into sci-fi, it's like game. I kind of like Ready Player One, so. And autobiography by Christina Lauren. Uh, I loved this too, so that was great. Moving back to the side of the shelf, um, I have some candles from Spark and Sparrow. I have a uh, Renegades candle, a Star Wars candle, a High Fae candle. I'm not sure what this is exactly from. And a Pygmy Puff. Um, some of them I can't actually open, so that's great. Right here on the shelf, I'm not going to pull them out, these are the um, Game of Thrones books. I've only got four of them, I think there's five, so I don't know where the other one is. <laughs> I have Middle Game by Shauna Maguire, which is one of my favourite books. I have two books from the Wayward Children series, I have uh, Every Heart of Doorway and Down Among Sticks and Bones. I'd like to get more, but because I'd like to get them in hardback, they're quite expensive, um, so I haven't got them yet. And I'm currently waiting to read the next one that's on hold at the library. 
I have the Marco Full and Flame by um, Brittany Matson. She's a local author to me. I've met her a few times when she buys my candles. So thanks, Brittany. I have Save the Date and the Unexpected Everything. And Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I have both The Starless Sea and The Night Circus by uh, Erin Morgenstern, I forgot her name for a second. I have People Like Us by Dana Mele. This is kind of, um, this is like a mystery book. I think it was kind of popular when it came out, but um, it came out around, around the same time as One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus, and I enjoyed this one more than the other one, so I have this. Um, I totally recommend that. And then I have Cirque Day by Madeline Miller. I have Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. This is also a favourite of mine, but probably not top favourite, but I am very obsessed with it. Down here I have a little era candle, which I'll just put up there, and a little taco. This is one of those Shotkins things, I just think it's really cute. And I also have a Laura Jean pop. I don't have many Funko Pops, but I got one from things I love. I have the first three books from the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. I'd like to get the fourth. But I'm scared of buying it online because I'm worried it won't be the right size. Um, I have Stalking Jack the Ripper. Hunting Prince Dracula and Escaping from Houdini. I absolutely adored these books. I don't know why because I don't like historical fiction that much but these are some of my favourites so as well as like the diviners I totally recommend them. One of my recent additions to my shelf is Kingdom of the Wicked which recently came out that is also by Kerry Maniscalco. I don't know if I said those other books are by her but they are. I have Two Can Keep a Secret and The Cousins by Karen M. McManus. I didn't really like I liked uh, One of Us is Lying but I didn't like it enough to keep it and I haven't bought the second book because I feel like it'd be weird for me to have the second book which I did actually enjoy so I decided instead just to keep these two I really enjoyed the cousins and Two Can Keep a Secret was uh, probably quite high up there I'm surprised people don't like it as much as I did but maybe I'm just crazy so that's those two books I don't know if I want to take these out but I probably should um, I have the entire Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Me, which is one of my top series of all time so the Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss I'm putting them on the table, Blood Promise Spirit Bound and Last Sacrifice and then we'll move on to the next part of the shelf which has the Bloodline series. I decided to move it down for this section because now you can see me. So I have, I'm not going to pull these ones out either, I have Bloodlines, Golden Lily, The Indigo Spell, A Fiery Heart, well The Fiery Heart sorry, Silver Shadows and The Ruby Circle all by Rochelle Mead. They are part of the Bloodline series which is a continuation of Vampire Academy. I have in the centre here my special edition books. Um, I don't know if I want to keep these, but I have the 10th anniversary collector's edition, is that what it's called, of Clockwork Angel. And then I have the same Fort City of Bones. I have a Lucian and Elaine candle from Fairy Tale Candles. I have, these are actually hard, like the special edition of Six of Crows and um, Crooked Kingdom, but I have these dust jacket covers. I'll show you. This is, um... This is Six of Crows, <laughs> had to think about it. It's got Nina on the front and then on the back it's got uh, Waylon and Matthias. This is a dust jacket from, I can't remember who I got it from, Moonlight Crate I think. And then I have um, my Crooked Kingdom and that's got Kaz, Inej and Jesper. I decided to put these dust jackets on these books because as pretty as the spines are I wanted to display the cool artwork. But I'm trying to decide if I want to really display Six of Crows or if I want to display Caravelle, which I'll get to. I have the collector's edition of Akritar and I also have this exclusive collector's edition of A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. My last special books are the most expensive books I have ever bought and that is the Fairy Loot Deluxe Collector's Edition by uh, Caravelle by Stephanie Garber. I have Finale. I don't even know what book one, which one's what. Um, Legendary and Caravelle. These like link up to create a cool cover on the inside and the spines. Spill out Caravelle. It's it's a lot of work to show you them. I'll never read them. I know people want these. I'm like wow I could solve all my current money issues by selling these but I won't. I won't. I won't. I worked hard to get these books. If you didn't know Caravelle is one of my favourite series of all time along with Six of Crows. <laughs> I have a Sawyer from Lost, he's holding a book, I like Sawyer, and a little cat. Um, I don't know if you can tell but I like cats and I like giraffes. Some Akatar books. In the original covers, so I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> um, I have a Court of Frost and Starlight, a Court of Thorns and Roses, a Court of Mist and Fury, and a Court of Wings and Ruin, all by Sarah J Maas. 
I'm excited for a Court of Silver Flames, but I'm sad that the cover won't match, but that's okay. I'll deal with it. I just hope that they release a short edition first, not a tall edition. I have the entire Throne of Glass series, except for three of them have been lent out to my friend, uh, but I have an un unexisting dust jacket cover of Tower of Dawn, the Assassin's Blade, uh, Throne of Glass, Air of Fire, Crown of Midnight, don't have them here, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, and the big chunky boy, Kingdom of Ash. I have my own Beetlejuice candle, I love Beetlejuice. I have a signed edition, this is a fairy low edition of Serpent and Dove. I don't have many like bookish box editions, but this one I do love. It's signed, yay. And then I got the signed first edition through Beacon Book Box. I got their box of Blood and Honey. And so now I'm excited when I have to get the last book, whatever it's called, I can't, have they released the name? I don't know. Um, when I have to get that <laughs> as a hardback as well. I've got two candles from Burn the Wick Candle Co. Including Life and Death Twilight Reimagined. It was terrible. The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner. Twilight. New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and most recently, Midnight Sun. I also own The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I have the entire Renegades trilogy by Marissa Meyer, which is Renegades, Arch Enemies, and Supernova. I'm sad that they didn't make fully matching covers, but it's okay because they're all the same height. Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste mm, I think that's how you say her last name. I'm really sorry. Um, this is a really great Hulu series, I think it is. Byron and I watched it. We didn't watch it on Hulu, though. Um, we loved it and we couldn't get enough, so I would recommend that. I have A Monster Called by Patrick Ness. Wings of Ray by my friend Victoria. This is like a self-published book from like eons ago, but I kept it. And um, to start off the Delirium books by Lauren Oliver, I have Delirium Stories, which is Hannah, Annabelle, Raven, and Alex. Delirium, Pandemonium, and Requiem. Or Requiem? I don't know. We don't talk about that last book. Um, on my bottom shelf, starting with the O's, we have Alice O's Moon Corner. Um, I have this weird cat my mum got me from South America. This is Nicolette's. It lives in my house, apparently. Um, a crocheted little panda from Monster Renata. I'll try to remember to link her down below. I have three candles. Two of them are from Fairy Tale Candles, the same as my Cat's Breaker one. I'll just put them up there. And then another one from Sparking's Barrow. Um, I own quite a few Alice Oseman books, but not as many as I'd like. And she's only got like a few extras that I don't have. I've got all three volumes of Heartstopper that have been released. Um, Heartstopper Volume 1. They're falling. 2 and 3. I love Heartstopper. Um, I have actually read further than these, but I'm trying to pretend like I haven't. because I also have the companion novels, I'd say, to Heartstopper. And that is Nick and Charlie and This Winter. This is my favourite Alice Oseman book because I was born for this. I first book I listened to slash read by her and it made me fall in love with her writing and just put me into the world of her books. The most recent book which is Loveless and finally Radio Silence which is the only one with a different cover. Maybe one day I will unhaul this and get a matching covers but it's okay. I don't, I don't actually need matching covers. I have a hard copy of Wilder Girls by Rory Power. I adore this book as well. And then I also have Burn Our Bodies Down by Rory Power. This one wasn't as good as the first one, but it was still quite enjoyable. I have a few Jodie Pico books and also a little giraffe. Um, if you don't know, giraffes are my second favourite animal, so yes. And I also have an Abraxas Pop by Erin's Erin's. I have 19 Minutes, House Rules, and My Sister's Keeper. I do own a few more that I haven't read yet, but um, I basically am unhauling the ones that I don't enjoy. These are the only three I've enjoyed so far. I have Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is one of my favourite books of all time as well. Um, also historical fiction but different than the normal historical fiction. I have Birthday by Meredith Russo. Moving into uh, territory that I don't love. Um, I have the three little books for Harry Potter. I have Tales of Beetle the Bard, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and Quidditch Through the Ages. I probably should just unhaul them. I'd like to keep Tales of Bed of the Bard, but the other ones I should probably just unhaul, but... Uh, and then, um, moving on, I'll just show you all the Harry Potter ones, because soon we're getting to Star Wars. I have another little giraffe. See, I like giraffes. And it's a little jar of kick-ass ladies. I have all the Harry Potter books. Philosopher's Stone. Chamber of Secrets. Prisoner of Azkaban. I'm going to put them back. The Goblet of Fire. The Order of Phoenix. I have my own recent candle. This is one I made myself. It's not for sale in my store, but I do have recent favourite. It's a candle. 
Uh, let's into this one though, the most. My favourite Harry Potter book, which is The Half Blood Prince and also The Deathly Hallows. Moving on, after Harry Potter, we have Star Wars. Um, I know that these authors obviously don't belong in these spots, but Star Wars is my favourite thing of all time. So I wanted to give them their own dedicated space. I put them in the middle at the bottom because then I can reach them. And there are a few gaps because I have bought Light of the Jedi and I can't remember Claudia Gray's new Star Wars book. Um, and also another book which belongs with these three over here. So I wanted to leave the space for those when they arrive at the end of this month. I have three uh, Journey to the Force Awakens books but I've actually just got bought the fourth one. I have the Weapon of the Jedi which is the Luke story, Smuggler's Run which is the Han and Chewie story, and Moving Target which is the Princess Leia story. Um, I have Leia, Princess of Alderaan by Claudia Gray. I have a Arcane, Arcane Academy Candle by Spark and Sparrow. I have Cobalt Squadron by Elizabeth Wayne. Not one of my favourites but I was excited to read it. This is about Rose Tico and her sister. I have The Force Awakens. You'll also notice that my Harry, um, my Harry Potter, my Star Wars books are not in order of uh, the series, they're in order of height. <laughs> As you do. My favourite Star Wars sub-series of all time is the Thrawn series. I would definitely recommend if you want to read anything Star Wars related, read Thrawn. Um, this is a Thrawn book, I only own one of them. I got it because my brother wanted to read it. I didn't actually own it. I have Ahsoka who is my favourite character aside from uh, my top three characters in Star Wars are Padme, Thrawn and Ahsoka so I'm glad that I've got those. I have Rebel Rising which is about Jin Erso. That is by Beth Rebus. Oh, I didn't say this is by E.K. Johnson. I have Lost Stars by Claudia Gray. This is also another favourite Star Wars book of mine. I have Queen Shadow by E.K. Johnson. I'd like to get Queen's Peril, but because I got this in hardback from Byron, I'd like to get the other one in hardback and it's expensive. I have a Rogue One Star Wars st story. I said that wrong. I have Phasma, The Rise of Skywalker, Resistance Reborn. I forgot the name of it as I took it out. I just realised I haven't been saying the names of the authors. I'm so sorry. Uh, Alphabet Squadron, which is a really great book. I have the second book as an arc, but I just never got around to it. I'm so sorry. I have Catalyst, which is not one I enjoy, actually. It's really bad. I think I might just move it to be next to the book. They go together. <laughs> I have Bloodline by Claudia Gray. And then I also have The Last Jedi by Jason Fry. And then hidden behind me, I have a Porg. A uh, 3D printed Porg. I like Porgs. I have another Porg. A pop vinyl. And I have another little crochet baby Yoda. This is by Monster Renata. It's so adorable. I have The Dark Disciple by Christine Golden. Um, it's not one of my favourite Star Wars books but I'm glad I own it. It's Master and Apprentice by Claudia Gray. And then I own these like Lucasfilms kids scholastics of the first six episodes. I'm keeping these because they're Star Wars and I'd maybe like to read them to my kids one day. Whenever I have children. Straight after my Star Wars books. I'm sorry I was blocking the way and now they've fallen. I had the Divergent trilogy including Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant and I also have the four collection stories by Veronica Roth. Um, this series means a lot to me. I won't get rid of it. I did recently reread them and they were just alright. I actually think I enjoyed Allegiant more than the first time which is interesting. I have two of Byron's books because I'm never going to read them. We have Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer and Magnus Chase and the Thor of Hammer. These are uh, part of the Percy Jackson universe by Rick Riordan. I have read Percy Jackson but just the first book. I won't read any more of the series. I have The Crown's Game and The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye. This is like a really cool um, magician-esque story similar to the Night Circus in some ways. I totally recommend it. It's YA. I have Sadie by Courtney Summers and Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir and A Torch Against the Night. They don't match. I'd like them to match and I haven't finished the series either. I can't even remember what happens in it. Um, except for the first book I think. I need to reread the whole series. Um, I have the hardback copies of a Darker Shade of Magic but they were second hand so they're a bit ripped. I have A Darker Shade of Magic and A Gathering of Shadows and A Conjuring of Light is currently on my TBR for this month if you haven't seen it already and this goes up after February then hopefully by now I'll finish it and it lives on my shelf. I have the Vicious uh, Juro maybe it's not a Juro I think maybe it might be expanded uh, also by V.E. Schwab but that's Vicious and Vengeful. Um, Vicious was one of my top books of last year so I totally recommend this book. I have the uh, Illuminate, no, Illumicrate version of uh, The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue. <laughs> Words are becoming a lot. Um, this is her most recent book and it was really great. I really enjoyed it. I have the entire Arc of Scythe series by Neil Schussman including Scythe, Thunderhead and The Toll. I'm really glad I enjoyed this series because I bought the whole series before I even read the first book. 
Um, this is just a spice, like spice saver right now. It's a uh, came with the Lumicrate box. It is uh, Annie Larue. Next up, I have The Gravity of Us by Philip Stamper. The King's Men by uh, Nora Sakovic. This is like a crazy series. Wouldn't recommend it to anyone unless you want to go crazy. And Dear Martin by uh, Nick Stone. I have all three Angie Thomas books, including Concrete Rose, which I recently rated five stars. The Hate You Give, which I also rated five stars. And this one is an exclusive collector's edition. I originally had three copies of this, but I got rid of just my normal one. And then I have On the Come Up, which is signed by Angie Thomas. I haven't met her. I just found it in a bookstore sign. I wish in New Zealand you could go into bookstores and find signed books, but I found that one in the UK. I have two more candles, which I'll just pop up there. I have three Casey West books. I recently unhauled a whole lot of my Casey West books. I just wasn't into them anymore. Um, and I decided I should just get rid of books I'm not loving. I have Listen to Your Heart, which is one of my favourite Casey West books. On the Fence. I don't remember what happened, but I rated it really high, so I want to reread it at some point. And The Distance Between Us, which is one of my highest rated Casey West books as well. The Martian by Andy Weir. I love The Martian. Oh, I've read this a few times now and I love it every time. It's just, oh, he's so funny. So, great. I have books by the Younes couple. Um, I have The Sun is Also a Star and Frankly in Love. I decided to get rid of everything, everything. Um, it just doesn't sit with me anymore. Didn't really want to reread it or anything. Haven't seen the movie. I have seen the movie for The Sun is Also a Star and I enjoyed it, so keep those two. The Book Thief by Marcus Dusak. I loved this years ago, but I haven't even thought about it since. Um, and finally, on my main bookshelf, I have Eliza and Her Monsters by Frances Zappia. I, this is the uh, Owl Crate edition, because the words are a different colour or something, I don't remember. Um, I love this as well, would totally recommend. So, that's that, and then we're going to do one last little section, which is just this corner section here. Um, over here, as you can kind of see, I have like a whole lot of different things, most of these are Byron's and stuff, but it's a mixture and I'll show you a little bit of them. I'm just going to kneel here while I show you. Um, I have a whole lot of enamel pins. These are from a different things. I've got pin and page ones. I've got Illuminate ones. And I've got a few other things. I've got a Legend pop vinyl. This is custom. Well, not for me, but like for a box. And some Ready Player Ones ones and Ahsoka. And all that stuff. Um, that's the boring stuff. Well, no, it's just probably interesting. This thing I've started doing since I've been travelling is buying books from the different countries I go to. So when I went to South Korea, I got a Korean version of The Hate You Give. I was happy to finally get this cover, although it's in Korean and I will never read it. And I also got, uh, and I'm gonna pull it out. <laughs> I got a German edition, I think of A Court of Thorns and Roses. I don't speak German, but Byron does. So you can tell me one day. Um, yeah, that's that. And then also in here I have, the reason why I don't wanna pull it out is because it's something on top, obviously. I have Milk and Honey and The Sun and Her Flowers by Rufy Kaur and I have The Odyssey by Homer. This is one of my favourite classics of all time. I don't know why, I just like it. And then at the end I have a book about dieting and a Court of Thorns and Roses colouring book. It finally fell. Um, and then on the shelf below we have like religious books, picture books, photo albums, drawing, comics, boring stuff, not boring stuff, things that I'm just not really into so that's there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and check out my links down below. I run a bookish and pop culture inspired soap and candle store. That's how I make my living. That's how I can afford to make, uh, buy books. I don't actually buy the books that often. Um, and I have a release every month. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, also I have social media. It'll be linked in the end card. Well, like my name will be there and also down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I've already said that. I'll see you guys all next time with another video. Bye!